Hi, everybody. Uh, I will uh, present uh, one of the papers uh, we are doing here in Colombia. Uh, the, the paper is called The Distributive Impact of Taxes and Social Spending in Colombia. And uh, those are my co-authors of the paper. Okay, uh, let me explain uh, some ideas. First, um, this paper has the objective of establishing the incidence of taxes and social policy as a, and social spending on poverty and inequality in Colombia. So uh, we use our tools, combine it with the uh, CIQ, uh, the commitment to equity of the Tulane University. And the work we have done at Fe Desarrollo here in Colombia with the support of the AFD includes analysis from 2017 to 2020. In summary, uh, we find that the incidence of state redistribution mechanisms is important, but after running a set of simulations, there is enormous room to improve the, the, the policy. And let me explain the CEQ methodology. Uh, we, we start the analysis uh, here using the market income, the market income from household service uh, and aiding the uh, pension contribution from the employers. So uh, after this, we add to the income the direct taxes, the direct taxes, uh, sorry, Okay, so um, we have the direct cash transfer that the program Familias en Acción, Pensions, uh, Ingreso Solidario here in Colombia, and uh, we subtract the direct uh, taxes like income tax to get the disposable income. Next, we add all the indirect transfers, indirect transfers, uh, that is a stratified public service like water, energy, gas, uh, and so on, and subtract the uh, indirect taxes, the IVA or VAT, value added uh, taxes, to obtain consumable income, consumable income. And finally, uh, we add uh, in-kind transfers. This is a uh, health and public education and subtract co-payments from uh, the use of these services. So uh, in, in, each, in each state, uh, from uh, market income, disposable income, consumable income, and final income, we estimate in each state the poverty and the uh, uh, co uh, Gini coefficients uh, to see where is working the uh, distributed mechanisms here in Colombia. And these are uh, the main results. Uh, here, uh, there is uh, the total poverty. And so uh, regarding total poverty, we find that the distributed effects of taxes and social spending are not significant. Yes, except for the spending here, the spending on health and education, which reduce the poverty, the initial poverty, from a 43.4% to 
to 38.9%. Um, and uh, regarding the extreme poverty, uh, the results are more sensitive because the uh, cash transfer subsidies and uh, other transfers. Uh, the total effect from uh, market income to final income is a reduction of seven points, seven points in, in, in extreme poverty. After all the social spending and uh, all the taxes in Colombia. And uh, regarding to income distribution, we start the Gini coefficient in Colombia from zero, uh, 59, and um, the results have the, the same tendencies. And the most important effects are those of education and health, uh, the Gini coefficient reduced by six points. All, all the redistributed mechanisms in Colombia reduced six points the Gini coefficients. And here are the results from Palma indexes that have the same tendencies. Okay. Um, we did some policy simulations uh, from taxes and social spending. First of all, first of all, we increase the tax base in Colombia in such a way that the income limit to declare taxes was, was half of the current value. First, um, then we increase the the tax base. First, we modify the progressive tax, tax structure to obtain higher effective rates, and we cut exemptions uh, in Colombia from 34% uh, to 17% of net income. And the last uh, simulation, we double the nominal tax rates on dividends and occasional earnings uh, at 10% uh, on dividends and 20% on occasional earnings. Uh, and with the social spending, first, cash transfers during the pandemic period, the program Ingreso Solidario in Colombia, uh, the, the coverage of this program was increasing for 3.1 to 4. 0.1 million, and we introduced in the simulations a progressive subsidy that was previous flat for everybody, for every household in Colombia. And we introduced in the simulation a universal coverage of the program for older adults uh, living in, port, in poverty with a transfer of one poverty line for each uh, household. And last, uh, an extension of the value added tax refund from one million to two million households. And uh, we will see the results of the change, of all these changes uh, uh, in the policy. Let's see um, the main results. First, on total poverty, and then uh, on extreme poverty. And th then uh, we see that thanks to changes in social programs, to change in social programs, poverty was reduced by 9.5 percentage points in disposable income. And the combining effect, the combining effect on taxes and expending reduced the poverty in Colombia 
in the simulations, in the joint simulation, by 14.5 points in final income, from 43 to 29%. Uh, just doing these improvements uh, in taxes and social spending. And regarding to uh, extreme poverty, it was uh, reduced 9.5 points in disposable income and 11, 11 points in final income from uh, 16 to 6 percent, uh, a reduction of one third or in, in the extreme poverty. Okay. Um, and um, let's see the in joint simulation on uh, results uh, to income distribution. First, uh, uh, on Gini. Then uh, the simulated changes in social programs and taxes have a huge effect, a huge effects on disposable income uh, inequality by reducing the Gini coefficient by nine points, just because the cash transfer uh, improvements compared to the compared to the current three points reduction uh, in 2020. And the final effect on all, all policies, taxes uh, and, and transfers, uh, the final effect reached 11 Gini points, which would leave Colombia with a distributed effect like that of some developed uh, countries. And these are the results on, uh, uh, on Palma coefficients. Conclusions, then uh, we see the, um, a package that improves the basic income and the universal pension may be the best tool to sustain a population that lives in very precarious condition of hunger and access to basic services. Second, um, the current redistribution of disposable income reached three points in the Gini coefficient now in 2020. But with the improvements in taxes and social spending, improvements of eight additional points in the Gini coefficient, 11 points in total uh, could be a shift. Uh, and uh, from market income, the final income, the chains are transcendental even with such a market initial concentration uh, of the Gini coefficient in Colombia. And that's all, and thank you very much.